The Cool Bean, another great story from Jory John and Pete Oswald. Watch out, here come the cool beans, the cool beans. Oh yeah, check out how they move. Look at the way they swagger. Notice their sunglasses? Yow! The cool beans are known all over school, from house to house, across town, beyond county lines. In the olden days, last year, we were all one big pot of beans. We were a mixed bag, but somehow it worked. Yep, those were the good old days. And then we stopped seeing each other as much. That's just how it is sometimes. You spend less time together, even though you're not totally sure why. I watched as the beans I knew so well, the beans from my own pod, became the cool beans. Oh, they were so cool. One of them could play the guitar. Cool. One of them could draw the best superheroes. Cool. One of them could jump higher than any bean I'd ever known. Cool. Me? Well, I mostly stayed the same. Sure, I made some small changes. I wore sunglasses, but they were too big. I slicked my hair back. Too slick. I strutted around, but I tripped on a rock. Ow! I swaggered, but slid on a banana peel. Oof. I was still picked last for everything. My clothes never seemed to fit. I snorted when I laughed. I walked into stuff. I was an uncool bean for sure. I started thinking of myself as just a common bean with no special skills. I couldn't compete. So I didn't even try. I'd never be a cool bean. It seemed like there were two types of beans in the world. There were the cool beans and the beans like me. The days all blended together. I lived my life and things were just okay. I took tests and ate lunches and mostly kept to myself. The cool beans continued being cool. I mean, sure I miss them, a bit, but it's not like I was going to say anything. I felt like all that coolness had gotten in the way of our friendship, and that's how it went, until one day. I was in the cafeteria. I dropped my lunch on my loafers. Oh no, not again. But then something sort of miraculous happened. Out of nowhere, one of the cool beans helped me clean it up. He didn't even say anything. He just gave me a nod. That was it. Later, I was out on the playground. I tripped and scraped my knee and maybe cried a little bit and everybody saw it. Another one of the cool beans came to my side and without a word, he dusted me off. That afternoon, I was sitting in class I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't notice, but our teacher had called on me. Everybody stared. I sat there in silence. Nobody said anything. And then, then everybody just laughed at me. That was it. After today, I was officially a has-been. But then one of the cool beans stood up and came over to me. Everybody watched. She leaned in close and whispered, Hey, the teacher asked you to read from page 32. Then she gave me a quick wink and went back to her seat. It was a small gesture, sure, but it was also everything. We were reading the book called The Great Gatsby. I walked home with a goofy smile on my face. I smiled all the way through dinner. That day made all the difference. It was a day that could have been really bad if not for the kindness of a few cool beans. It gave me a shred of confidence. That shred of confidence has continued to grow. Somebody had my back, or a few somebodies. After that, I started hanging out with the cool beans again. How have you been? 
Get it? How have you been? Not all the time, but sometimes. At lunch, after school, even on the weekend. Throughout all of this, I realized that it's not about how you look or any of that other silly stuff. It's about a wink or a nod or a smile at just the right moment. It's about dusting somebody off, helping them up again, and pointing them in the right direction. One time, a little bean fell and dropped all his books. You need a hand? Yes, please. And the cool bean saw me, and one of them said, Now that's cool. <laughs>